Okay, hello guys, and uh, today we're just going to create a new Quarkus project using Mavin. So, step one, you have to go to uh, Quarkus.io. Okay, you visit Quarkus.io. Uh, I will be leaving the link in the description in any case if you need it, but uh, it's actually a, a, a public link quarkus.io and easy to find so just type quarkus.io in your browser and the page will load now click on start coding uh, to expose uh, the dashboard where we are going to be creating our uh, project or setting parameters for our project so okay so on this page we can uh, I will have to choose the group name, which is maybe the, uh, the name of your company, probably don't, uh, let me just put the name of my company. Then uh, the artifact, uh, artifact, you may just leave it like that, code with O. Actually, the artifact is uh, the name of your project, so probably I'm going to say first, uh, crackers. We don't leave any spaces here, we just use dashes to separate words. Okay, first, Quarkus uh, project. Okay, so we have to choose the build to whether you're using Maven or Gradle or Gradle with Kotlin DSL. But normally, uh, most people use Maven because of its uh, very quick use of dependencies when, while adding in the POM file. So the version, you normally leave this one as uh, that, 1.0.1, and then Java version as 17. Uh, starter code, we need the starter code, and then after that, you have to specify uh, what you want the app to do. For example, you have to specify the dependencies that you're going to be using uh, to make your project. Uh, but for starters, you shall be using the REST easy uh, reactive dependency, and that's all want from here but if you want a more robust you know uh, capabilities uh, you have to deploy more dependencies probably if you want to do a one DP you can go ahead and type database and even before you finish it you will see dependencies that work on the database like the hibernate body data the rest resource hibernate ORM with the panaches but if it really depends on what you want but right now we just want to deploy a simple application uh, that's gonna be running and we are exposing our endpoints and you see how we can expose our endpoints in our browser and you jump start it just to print out something very small for a hello world startup application so uh, after that just choose the rest is reactive uh, dependency then go to generate application around here you click on generate application now uh, it will be providing a uh, options here a download option where you have to download the zip file you can see your supersonic subatomic app is ready just like they say quarkus is supersonic subatomic uh, atomic uh, technology so here you can see the details uh, concerning your uh, your build tools uh, and also uh, all the details that probably you're gonna be using like the guides and the rest is rest easy reactive guidelines but uh, not wasting time just gonna be uh, downloading the zip file and then you see how we can implement it uh, in our uh, IDE so the IDE preferably today we're using uh, IntelliJ so we've downloaded our Quarkus project after downloading open it in its folder where it's downloaded probably in downloads mine is in the downloads Okay, let me first make this one a little bit bigger okay here is our project in the download first quarkus project but it's a zipped folder you have to unzip it so you open with the archive if you're on windows you can just unzip the project and it will unzip all the contents and put them in an unzipped folder here of the same name quarkus project and then now uh, we're going to be so this is our first quarkus project in this folder so now we can head over to our uh, ide intel j some people use eclipse some people use uh nebins uh, and most of those but i would rec highly recommend you use intel j is actually the most um 
at the base IDE for these actually. So you go ahead on your Intel J, click on open, then open, I mean file, then open. Now we're going to be opening that a project. If you go to downloads, because remember we downloaded the file and unzipped it and it downloads, so probably it's still in downloads. You can see this is our project, first Quarkus project. Okay, and then we click on it and then we say open. Uh, so you, they're asking trust and open this project. Yes, we trust this project. So we go ahead and click on trust this project. And they're asking, do you want to be you know, opening the project in a new window or you're going to be opening it in this very window? So if you say this window, it will close whatever project has been running and it will open that current project that you want to be opening. So that's exactly what we want. So click this window. So it will open our Quarkus project up perfectly in this window. So finally, you can see first Quarkus project, the project uses Quarkus and uh, of course, as you know, it's a supersonic subatomic Java framework. Uh, if you want to learn more about Quarkus, you can head over to https quarkus.io uh, the same website where we downloaded the project and go ahead and uh, read the documentation and learn more. But this is a simple uh, REST easy hello world fast project in Quarkus. So running the application, you can go ahead and read the readme dependencies, how we work with the POM files, stuff like that. But first, let's go to our source in order to access our first file that normally comes created with uh, um, some code. Of course, first code, you can see these are now uh, imports and this is our path uh, to our first class post public class greetings resource. Normally it comes with the first, which is a greetings resource um, project. So you can see that it's still downloading uh, some um, dependencies and also resolving uh, some dependencies in the background, of course, focus dependencies. So once it's done, you will see that uh, it will be set up and all this will go away and it will be a runnable project and you shall be able to run it and I expose our REST easy API on the browser. Okay, so the project actually essentially is um, a class, a greetings resource class, uh, uh, provided with um, a hello world or hello REST easy uh, fast method. And uh, you can see it produces a plain text. So when you run this method, it returns a hello world REST easy uh, string. That's why this method is say it has a return type of string. So it's a hello method, return type of string. So it will be going to be uh, returning a string, hello world, I mean, hello rest easy, uh, reactive. So it has a get, uh, HTTP, of course, it's going to be getting some text, getting and, of course, uh, returning text. Uh, this is the part where we're going to be, you know, accessing our uh, rest easy API in the browser at hello. And that would be, of course, uh, in the normal by default port, which is the localhost 80, port 8080, a slash for hello. So that all will be done after all this sync is done, but it's kind of taking a little bit longer, but we have to wait. Okay, so now that we've created our first uh, project, we're going to be uh, running it deploying it or developing it using the Quarkus uh, plugin. So you go to your plugins, I click on Quarkus, and look for Quarkus, Quarkus D. You have a tab on Quarkus D, which will start off developing the uh, project and running it, and finally it will deploy it on a REST easy API uh, on the web, and we shall be able to access it at localhost uh, port 8080. And let it first compile, run tests. Okay, this name. And finally, you can see Quarkus uh, DVM has started listening on this port, and all this live coding has been activated. So we're going to be clicking on this port link take us to the a page where our application has been launched so uh, uh, scroll down at the bottom where you see our path hello uh, as you can see in our code 
our path has been set to hello by default this is our path by default hello so we're going to be looking it up on the path hello you can see now localhost port 8080 hello path now we have hello from rest easy and that's exactly what our method hello is returned it returns a string hello from rest easy and that's the same string that we have here on the output so successfully our first quarters project has been uh, published so we shall be adding on more tutorials come this is just the beginning of the uh, uh of course a full course in quarters so this is just the beginning make sure to subscribe to the channel and also like the video i'll be posting more of these so this is just the beginning i'll be making more focus uh, projects so thanks for watching